Introduction Earth is known as the blue planet because of abundance of water on its surface. In fact, 70% of Earth's surface is covered by water. However, in summer, everyone talks of shortage of water. It's strange, isn't it? What is even more strange is a couple of months later during monsoon, we talk of floods. In this lesson, we will learn about the effects of droughts and floods on Earth. We will also learn the ways to overcome these problems. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Identify the effects of heavy rainfall Describe the outcome of no rainfall for a long period Explain rainwater harvesting Describe the different techniques of rainwater harvesting Have you ever wondered where the rain and snow goes after reaching Earth? Rainwater flows as streams. It fills up ponds, lakes and rivers. It falls into the sea and oceans. The snow falls on mountains and later melts into water. This water flows down the mountains in the form of streams and rivers. Thus, most of the water received from the sky finally flows into the oceans sooner or later. Not all the rainwater flows into rivers and ultimately into oceans. Some of it is absorbed by the soil as well. This water is known as groundwater. Groundwater is the source of water for many lakes and wells. Hand pumps and tube wells tap this source to provide water for consumption. However, overuse of groundwater has led to its depletion. As a result, we need to dig deeper and deeper to locate groundwater. In areas with little or no vegetation, the topsoil is loose and gets washed away by rainwater. Such areas get covered with concrete. As a result, there is reduced seepage of rainwater into the ground. This also contributes to reduction in groundwater. Students, select the correct answer from the options given. In our country, most of the rainfall occurs during June, July and August. It gives us respite from the hot and humid summer. Sowing of many crops depends on monsoon. But what will happen if it rains heavily? Excessive rainfall leads to a rise in the water levels of ponds, lakes and rivers causing them to overflow. Such an overflow of these water bodies beyond their normal limits is known as floods. Floods destroy crops and cause damage to property and life. Floods triggered by heavy monsoon rains are an annual feature in India. Have you ever thought what will happen if it does not rain for a very long period? When it does not rain for a very long period, then the soil continuously loses water by evaporation and transpiration. The level of water in ponds and wells goes down and some water bodies dry up. The groundwater also depletes. Prolonged periods of deficient water supply cause drought. Water can be obtained from natural sources only. A very small fraction of the total water available on earth is fit for use by plants, animals and humans. The demand for usable water is increasing with rising population. As a result, the shortage of water is acute in various parts of the world. The scarcity is only likely to worsen in the coming years. So, we as responsible inhabitants of Mother Earth must conserve water and use it judiciously. If we collect and store all the rainwater that collects on our terrace, roads and pavements instead of letting it run into ditches, 
we could actually have vast reserves of water. Collecting and storing of rainwater is called rainwater harvesting. The following are the techniques of rainwater harvesting. The rainwater is collected from the rooftop in a storage tank through pipes to be used later for various purposes. Alternately, instead of collecting the rainwater in a tank, the pipes can carry the rainwater to a pit dug in the ground. The rainwater then seeps into the soil to recharge or refill the groundwater. Another technique of rainwater harvesting is the one in which the runoff on the ground is used to recharge groundwater. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Excess rainfall causes flood and no rainfall over a period of time causes drought. The amount of usable water on earth is limited so it needs to be used wisely. Collecting and storing of rainwater is called rainwater harvesting. 